Hi, my name is Nick. In this episode, we are taking a look at the navigation inside Microsoft Teams. Uh, this will be a relatively quick and easy to follow uh, tutorial just on how to navigate through the application. If you find this useful, then you know what to do. And with that said, let's jump on over to Microsoft Teams. Okay, so here I am just inside my Microsoft Teams application. And there are three main parts um, that basically make up this uh, application. There is the um, app bar here on the far left hand side. Um, and then you have this secondary menu just here, uh, which depending on the app that you select, um, this menu will change. And then um, you have this kind of portal window just over here, which occupies the majority of the screen. Okay, so everything um, in Microsoft Teams kind of pivots from the application that you choose from the app bar. So over here on this app bar, um, I currently have activity chat, teams, calendar, calls, files, and planner. Okay, now by default, if I unpin that one, you get uh, these uh, six options. Okay, these are your default uh, applications that are kind of pre-pinned into this app bar. Now, if you click on the ellipses here, um, this allows you to choose additional apps um, to add to your app bar. There are um, thousands of apps to choose from and lots of different integrations uh, available to you. Um, as you saw, I had the Planner app installed. Um, I'm going to pin that back over here. Um, but likewise, if you wanted OneNote, you could also just right click on that one and pin it. Or alternatively, just search for um, an application um, from here. So if I were to type in OneNote, um, OneNote would be here for me to pin as well if I wanted to. Okay, so that's how um, you will find additional apps. Now, um, if we go over to the activity section, um, within the activity section, uh, you'll basically find that this secondary menu has changed. Okay, and we have this feed option, a filter option, and a little gear for settings option. Okay, um, now there's a little arrow here. We can click this and we can look at my activity, which will then show you all of the activity that you have personally been creating um, versus the feed of all of the channels um, and various different things, such as mentions and replies. Um, you obviously have the ability to filter and you can filter by various different ways just by searching for text or for people um, and you'll be able to filter uh, your activity that way as well. Um, and then you have settings which take you directly into the settings of the application itself, the Microsoft Teams application. Okay, so that's your activity section there. Next is chat, uh, which most people should be familiar with. Um, and this is all about uh, your chat messages, okay? And so again, you have the chat icon here uh, with a little drop down menu, which lets you look at contacts or just your chat. And um, you have the filter. So again, you can filter by names, content, um, subjects or whatever that may be. Um, and then you have the ability to create a new chat message directly from uh, here, this little icon. And then obviously in this secondary menu, you have all of your various different chat messages um, and group messages that you've been uh, having. And you can obviously filter through these as needed um, and flick to and from different uh, conversations. Okay, then on the far right hand side, as you select these, these windows will change. Um, so you'll have uh, you know, the chat itself, the chat feed, any files that you've been sharing, meeting notes or whiteboard. Um, so this here, as the icon indicates, the live stream chat is actually a meeting uh, where basically we've had chat uh, within that meeting. We've had files being shared during that meeting meeting notes and whiteboard. So all of that happens inside the portal window here. Um, and a regular chat message of where you will have the chat, you'll have files that you share within that chat, the organization um, and any activity that you guys are having. Okay, so that's the little chat section here on the app bar. Now the next main section that you'll be most familiar with and the one that opens by default is the Teams section here. So this little Teams app. Um, inside there in the secondary menu, you have the header of Teams and you can filter this um, again just by filtering by a team or a channel. Um, then inside the secondary menu, you have all of your teams and their channels um, as you might expect them to be uh, or as you already are probably seeing them. Okay, so all of the teams that you're in will be seen here um, and then 
inside there will be all of the channels and we'll talk more about that in future episodes. Next on the uh, app bar here is the calendar and the calendar is directly linked into your um, Microsoft Outlook calendar. Okay, so any appointments that you have in Outlook will also appear inside your uh, Microsoft Teams calendar. And um, they both pretty much work in the same way. Um, so by clicking a, t a slot here would open up an appointment um, like so. Um, and if, uh, you know, when you double click in a, a slot in Outlook, you create an appointment. In Microsoft Teams, you create a meeting, a video meeting instead. So there are some slight differences there, um, but ultimately you'll still see your Outlook appointments as well as all of your Microsoft Teams uh, video meetings all in one screen here. Okay, if we head over to the call section, this is an area where you can set up speed dials, contacts, history, uh, and voicemail. All of these options are available in the secondary window here. Um, you can also make a call uh, and suggested calls as well. And then over in this section uh, in the portal window, depending on what option that you select, uh, you have the ability to do different things, okay, or see different things. So again, the portal window is, um, uh, I guess, contextual based on what uh, you have selected both from the app bar and the secondary menu, okay? Then we go to the file section. The file section directly links into Microsoft Teams, any downloaded file, recent files that you've been using, and then cloud storage, which is usually by default OneDrive, but you can add additional storage into this area here as well. So if there's additional cloud storage that you want to add in, such as Dropbox, you could also do that here as well. Now, the other app that I added here is Planner, uh, and Planner is a task oriented um, application. Um, so I do recommend that everyone kind of finds Planner um, and adds it into the app bar. Now, this will be updated. Uh, it's called Planner currently, but they're going to update this to be called Tasks. And what this is doing is basically it's pulling in all of your to do tasks or your Outlook tasks, as well as any Planner tasks um, from any uh, Microsoft Planner applications and plans that you have being used in your organization. It pulls everything together in a single screen. And again, you have this secondary menu. Um, so when I change the option from the secondary menu, it changes what is displayed in the portal window. Okay, so a pretty easy um, way to kind of navigate through. Um, you just have to understand that you have, first of all, your app. Um, and from the app bar, you select whatever app you would like to use. Then you choose an option from your secondary menu, uh, which then changes everything that's inside your uh, portal window. So if I go to Microsoft Teams, for example, here, the Teams app, um, and then choose that Office Guide team, this is the general channel, okay? And so this is the, the option that I've selected from the secondary menu. If I click on another channel, the portal window changes to display everything that is inside that second channel. Likewise, if I click on the third channel, it will change again. Likewise, if I click on, I click on a different team here, and I click on general here, this is now the general channel for this team, and it is displayed inside the portal window. Hopefully, um, guys, that makes a lot of sense to you, and it's a nice, easy way to navigate through uh, Microsoft Teams. Once you understand how the navigation works, it does make everything uh, very, very simple in understanding how you to work with Microsoft Teams. And that will bring an end to episode one. Um, and in the next episode, we'll look uh, more in depth uh, about each of the different apps and how they function. Um, if you found this useful, then you know what to do. And I will see you guys in episode two.